Good uh, morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is early, we still have not got down to the barn. We're on our way. Oh Figure out which shoes are mine. Sophie and I have the same Crocs that we wear to the barn. Those are over here. Yeah, I just, mine are dirtier than hers. What no. does that tell you? Yours actually have this thing on it. Hers is oh. missing one oh. Thanks Gabby. Anyway, welcome to today. Sophie's on the way down. Sophie. It's riding day. It's not Let's lesson day. You want to ride Finn bareback? Yeah. Then you ride your boy bareback if you want to. I feel like I'm losing my voice, but it's gone now. Sometimes mornings are rough. Gabby is home. She already ran down to the barn. She was just ahead of me. It is a glorious fall day, you guys. It's gorgeous out here. Ooh, 58. 58. 58, and it still feels warm. Like, not warm. Like, it almost feels cold, but it feels comfortable and, and awesome. Good morning, Chino. The grain smells bad. The grain smells bad, the new stuff? Storm! Storm this time. Yeah, it, it's the either... This morning where I was like, Chino's gonna paw, Storm's gonna stand there. Yeah. The the but yeah. it's normally Chino that goes... Yeah. Wow, you make a good horse, Gabby. I know, I taught Storm how to paw when I did <laughs> yeah. it. That was such a good idea, huh? <laughs> Anyways, Gabby's wearing her kicking cowgirls sweatshirt. I'm betting that that's a brand. If you want to match Gabby, you could probably get a kicking cowgirl sweatshirt. Look at this. Who do you think sweeping the hall today? He's like, give me my food. <laughs> Look at that neck. I'm not doing it. This is the hard door, which we need. I know. We well, you know, horses are leaving in the winter. Once you make sure that this handle can go up, you have to pull it towards forward. you and then push it back. That's then right. Push it in. Oh. And then push it back. Oh, got it. All right, Finny. All right. Oh, wait. I got to give Gracie medicine before they I get drained. Oh, well, welcome to today, my friendly friends. Gracie's medicine ready. She gets seven milligrams of this stuff. Okay, get my. And. Uh, if you guys caught yesterday's video, Willow loves this medicine too. It is her favorite stuff. It smells so good. It smells good. It does. All right, let's go get the grain. Are right, you gonna do it? All right, that's good. I love having Gabby home. Like I'm so glad summer's leaving, just so Gabby can be home. But I love having Sophia to myself sometimes too. Oh my God! What? Higher grain bucket. Oh well, he'll figure it out. Hello, girls. Where's my black halter? It's there. We used it yesterday. Yeah, Gabby got a Gabby one a black. Oh, <laughs> Willow's Willow's gonna oh. bite Molly. Mom, it's so cold. It is cold. Uh, they can't have grain until 15 minutes. <laughs> well, Gracie's afraid of you, Gabby. Yeah, Willow can, but I'm not giving one horse grain without the other because you know how that goes. Oh my gosh, honestly, that that hula hoop is driving me bonkers. Hello. Kiss. Right. Oh my gosh. Oh, the hula hoop is scaring them. Willow is brave if it, she thinks she's getting a treat, though. <laughs> this could get dicey. I'm standing up here against the wall. That's what I do when things get dicey. Look at how pretty that girl is. That's how pretty I want my girl to be. She loves her medicine. She takes her medicine. What was this? Oh. Molly. Oh, you did the treat sound, and then she... Yeah, Willow knows it, too. Molly, come. She's usually really good. I'm really careful with her lip, though. Her lip swung. She's gone down like a week. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Apparently, the hula hoop that she plays with on a daily basis is suddenly scary today. Okay. Fall is for. Uh oh. No, fall is for the time when we desensitize our horses the most. Why is it so cold? Summers are for uh, 
uh, being busy and going to horse shows, which I did mention, I think, yesterday that we definitely have another horse show, at least one more horse show. Uh, summers for us are spent being super busy, but the fall and the spring is when we get most of our work and, and like, Special stuff done with anyway, our horses. When we went to that show, Storm was fresh. That's normally summer's when we do So he's because we trail her out more places, and that's desensitizing them. One of them has shown some scary fillers, which they've never jumped before, but Storm doesn't care. Cause I mean the ponies. I mean our ponies. Look at, look at that. There's a little bit of grass growing in our arena, guys. It's a sign. A sign to put some sand in here. One of the big reasons I've never put sand in here is because we take our horse, it's too small to exercise our big horses. So we don't really do much in here. If I get a horse though and she stays here um, and I'm gonna be riding her in the winter, then I am definitely probably gonna put some sand in here. Like if I'm ever gonna do it, now will be the time. You can't get your hay unless you move your feet. Move your feet. Back it up. <laughs> Back it up. Thank you. Molly, get in here. Molly. Molly is going to kill somebody with that hula hoop. Molly. How much hay do you give Storm in the morning? Two flakes. Two flakes? Gabby, Sophie, go check the water. Storm's still chasing the horses. Even behind bars. I asked Kaylee, don't your horses run around in the field? And she said, no. They just walk around and eat grass all day. That's all they do. And I'm like, yeah, ours are special. Storm is special. We love him because he's special. All right, so it's time to start choring. I call it choring. The willow's like, I want my grain. I'm tired of this. I don't want the hay. I want my grain. You give it to me now. Willow, you can't have the grain because of your friend Gracie. Gracie's got to wait 15 minutes. She has to wait to have her grain till her medicine kicks in. So you have to suffer. Take one for the team. She's like, get it to me! <laughs> oh, she's cute though. Anyway, I just wanted to clarify something that I said in my video yesterday. I'm getting a lot of messages saying, don't get a pass out of Gypsy. They're super smooth. But I, what I should have said in yesterday's video is, is that the only reason I'm getting a horse, like the only reason I'm getting a horse is because I like gated horses. I can ride a gated horse. I'm confident on a gated horse. Gated horses don't scare me. The only reason I'm getting a horse is because I love riding gated horses. So the only reason I'm getting a horse is because I'm getting a gated horse. That's it, that's the only reason. And they're a gated horse and any other breed, there's no, I mean, maybe there's other horses that aren't gated that have some kind of weird funky movement, I don't know. But you can't compare a gated horse to a regular horse in movement in any way. Like gated horses just move completely differently than any other breed. So you can't compare them. The smoothest regular horse will never be as smooth as a gated horse, if that makes sense. Okay, so here is an interesting, crazy story. A friend sent me a message today saying that, you know, the black and brown caterpillars that are local to our area, if you know our area, um, she said, if you see one, if you look at it, if it has a lot of black on it, it means that we're going to have a lot of snow this winter. And she said she found one, didn't have a lot of black, but it was dead. But look at what happened. I just found one. Just happened upon him. And he has more brown than black. So I guess that means we're not going to have a lot of snow this winter. What do you guys think? I came to clean Storm's shelter and he's running for it. He's like, yes, my house is getting clean. Typically the girls do the stalls and I do all like the fields and uh, shelters, which I've never done storm shelter before. I'm going to do it right now. He's standing there looking at it like, yes, like he knows. Please don't run at me. I don't like it. It's not my favorite thing. Hi, handsome. You want me to clean your shelter? You want me to clean your shelter? You got to let me go through. I have no treats, nothing. Just a poop. Oh my gosh. So this is something that I feel like is being kind. Letting your horse smell. He's like, finally a friend. There you go. Smell it. I don't know if this is true, but I find like, for me, I feel like horses are less spooky if you give them an opportunity to explore. Like even if you're in a hurry. Even if, even if you're the boss of them. 
So I'm gonna clean this big mess. You ready for it, Storm? complaining though to be honest just standing here in the shade looking out there at this view makes me happy so we knocked on the old bird's nest in the shelter and look at how neat this is like so this is all okay this is all oh, that's that looks like Stella hair yeah it does it looks like the Stella hair you're keeping this so it's all made with mud and grass and hay like it's so perfect perfect in design and then they weave this whole other soft thing just out of grasses here put it in there so they and can see Stella's hair. and horse hair there's horse that's hair that's where our horse hair went yeah they use horse hair isn't that amazing like this is so soft for the babies like a real baby could lay on that that's beautiful such a such an amazing thing nature can, is can we keep this part it has Stella do you think it's Stella yeah yeah it's beautiful all right today is dog grooming day we never show this part of our day but I'm gonna try and trim up Molly Ruby because she's getting kind of yucky. And I cut the Chihuahua's nails. They were both super easy. And Gabby's gonna try and attempt to do Molly's nails. Good girl, you want treats? Good girl. The vet told me that Molly is not in love with getting her nails done. Here. No, my look. thighs are super strong. <laughs> yeah, you got the wrong owner. Just be, I wonder if she clipped her or something before. Good girl. Good girl, you got it. Here, here's another. Here, here's another Good treat. Job. Good girl. Good job. Yeah. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> She's just like, don't do that to me anymore. Oh gosh. <laughs> he wants to be ridden. He doesn't want to be ridden. Horses, and <laughs> this one wants to play the hula hoop. So this is a new thing. Ever since we put Storm in his own paddock, he has attitude. <laughs> I never check the mail, but today I checked the mail. These are Chino's papers, you guys. Mom. Gabby doesn't know yet. It's for you. Mom, I'm gonna need help with the oh, is this Chino's papers? Yep. Hmm. We're about to find out when, when, his, when his birthday is. <laughs> so you guys, when is his birthday? May 18th, May, 2008. May 18th. He was a 2008 baby. Yeah, May 8th. He's 12. So he's like a week after you. Two weeks after you were born. But a different year, like a year and two weeks. Yeah. So Chino's birthday, May 8th. Oh, I love this halter on him, but it's not. May 18th, 2008. Do you like that halter on him? So why don't you get your fuzzy stuff and put it on it? This is for my leather halter. And this or seems too short. 
or it's just because it's not. Maybe it will fit my horse. I think my horse is going to fit Cobb size. She's a tiny bit taller than Finn. This is on the last hole. She looks smaller so than Finn though. Seriously, this has got to end. This has got to end. Finished. There can be no more playing with the hula hoop. <laughs> It might sound mean, but when you're trying to get your horses ready, hula hoops and barking are not conducive. Oh, hi. Hi, Mini 1 and Mini 2. Do you guys want some food? You'd be looking fat again. I don't think you need any more right now. We already knew this, but who is Chino's mama? That cat's a native. That cat's a native. Homebred. She's a thoroughbred. Yeah. But we don't know. Oh her. my gosh. Do you not understand Stop. what it means? <laughs> <laughs> Storms, halters, and death's truck. That's why. Mm -hmm. We couldn't find the halters. All right. Who, oh, this is Storm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For some reason, I thought that this was Chino in here. It's Stormy Boy. Chino was conceived by artificial insemination. No duh. His father yeah, he... was probably dead by the time. His father was in the States. Mm -hmm. He's a big, huge appendix yeah, uh, in the States. For some reason, I thought today was Tuesday, and it's actually Wednesday, and that means that tomorrow is my lucky day because I'm going riding. I am going riding. Woohoo! I'm so excited. I can't believe how excited I am. Like I am so excited to go riding. Does it fit him? Yeah. Right. So you're I'm gonna put it down more if it's too loose. Oh, good, because I was hoping to ride in my new horse in one of those. This one's mine. Yeah. I so. had the black one. Because we all thought I was getting a horse, but I got a pony. The best pony ever. Oh, so this is a, a cob size? That's mine. It's a horse. Oh. But it's small. It's, it's small. small. So this is a side pull. This is a leather side pull, kind of like a Dr. Cook's I, bridle. I have to ride. Bitless yeah. bridle. This is the only kind our trainer will let us ride in. Any kind of like... We can ride in a halter and we can ride in this, but we don't use bitless mm -hmm. bridles or what are those called? Hackamores. We don't use hackamores. Our trainers think that they are, can be dangerous if you don't know how to ride in them. Uh, yeah, subscriber also, recommended these side pulls and they work really good. I also want to um, try him without a bit to see if he likes no bit better. All right, well, let's do it. Why don't so you get I the saddle on them? All right, bareback. okay, bareback it is then. My cat wants to go out and she tries to escape. I know, I we I don't know what we're gonna do with the kittens. She wants to come out here. Now that the horses are in the barn, we have to leave the door open at night so it doesn't get too hot in here for them. Mm -hmm. And we don't want the kittens to go outside yet, so we lock them in that room and they don't like it in that room. <laughs> They're like, take me out. She's trying to escape. Soon, soon they'll be going outside sometimes, but not yet, they're still too little. Remember, Stormy, you like kitties. Remember? Hundreds. So uh, my plan for uh, my new horse, my new horse, I, can, I don't, can't even believe I want a horse. Um, the plan for my new horse is that I'm going to get the same saddle that they have that I ride in at that place because that is my favorite saddle of all time. It's an, it's an Australian stock saddle, but it's a small, it's like a Wintec one, and I really like it. And sleepy. We can't find the other kitten. That's unusual. So we lost Sophie's kitten and we're panicking, freaking out. You're panicking. I don't know how he got out of that room. I don't, I think he has. Go check the hayloft. He did get out of the room, Sophie. I decided to check, check where his favorite place is and I found him. Huh? I found him. Cat. <laughs> That's why your friend was so sad. He's like, oh, Hi. Your friend was crying and crying because you weren't missing. How did you get out? I like, I have my friend. I don't know. <laughs> he probably slipped out behind Daddy? us. But you have to stay with your friend. I don't actually like locking them in that room because it's dark. Like, yeah. I like them better in this barn. There's a window. There's a window, but it's not nice. Not nice wow, and bright. Wow, your sister was so sad. Come on, crazy man. Come on, I go put you away. Just, we're screaming, calling for him, and he's just laying there. Sleeping, having a nap. Having a nap for his whole We leave this door open so much, like when we're working and stuff, thinking that we're just gonna see the cats if they come out. My cats are chilling. There you are. 
found your brother. All the food and the water's in here. The other idea is that he could have jumped up there, up there, and then up there, but oh, we don't think, oh, look, she's like, don't you ever leave me again. I will kill you. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna, oh, yeah, she's cleaning him. She's going to drag him by I'm the ear. I'm so glad to see you. Look, look at her. She's like, don't ever leave me again. He was all calm and quiet in his favorite spot, and she was all aggressive and upset. So typically we find it okay to walk through the field with Chino in it because Chino is not an aggressive horse or he doesn't, he's, because Chino's not a dominant horse. Like, he just wants to be with us. <laughs> Look at how light all of our horses are. Ruby found her toy. Ruby's got toys all over this property. First day of spring And I just want to sing To everything that's moving Every single little thing To them birds flying free, fish in the sea, flowers and trees, every little bumblebee. I wanna sing. Ooh, ah, mm -hmm. oh. To the kids playing hoops, going loose. Shoes in my hand and my feet in the sand. I got 20 ducklings in a row, like a little marching band. And they sing, Ooh. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, well, storm's done. I don't even understand how that happened so fast. It was really tight though, it wasn't really loose. I so Chino was eating grass and the girl, he didn't notice that the girl started walking towards the gate to put the boys away and switch horses. And he just came flying over that hill, running as fast as he could. And he's like, don't leave me here, take me too. I love that he's excited to ride again. You just don't lose a shoe, okay? You don't lose a shoe? Like, I love, I love him. Like, I, I love him because of his personality. To the couples in love And the seagulls above And any other living thing or creature I can think of I wanna sing Ooh, I wanna sing Don't you know that you're beautiful?